Hi, welcome to my channel to Irrational. I'm Pranesh Sharma and in this video, we'll see examples of pricing, reserving and joint life and solve them as we would in Microsoft Word for our examination CM1A. So first, let's take this example of premium and reserves. Here we have commission and expenses. We have compound bonuses that gives us our I dash. And we have to find our monthly premium and then calculate the reserves. So first we have to write our temporary annuity payable 12 times a year. I have written also the formula with which we will calculate it. Then making our benefits according to our compound bonus. And then finally writing that term assurance value. Now here we will not show all different kinds of calculations but we will only write the important formulas and the equations for our premium benefit and expenses. So in each one of them I have just written the important formulas that need to be solved and that directly write your premium. You do not have to show the whole calculation or how you are equating stuff. Here I have solved the same question using equation editor. Now whenever you are making equations with equation editor where we need this annuity angle, I first make an annuity angle. I will press enter equal to and then first thing we will do is press to space, go to accent, go down here to over bar then select that over bar, go to brackets down here in single brackets we have this we'll put that and then to space later on i can select this this is our annuity angle then when writing our equation remember one thing we cannot copy paste anything from outside our document word document but we can copy paste inside so i've copied this i can write 12 p a double dot raise to for payable 12 times I'll put double bracket 12 then double bracket close under root single bracket 50 is to paste the annuity angle right 10 close bracket and space this is how we will write such terms then what I can do is I can just copy this because we are supposed to write the formula for this as well. I'll press shift enter and I get another box here. I'll paste equal to, I'll paste it again and I'll remove this payable 12 times. And then minus 11 by 24, 1 minus V raised to 5 space and then 5 p 50 bracket close this term is nothing but 7.4804 and then using that we can find this and we'll get 89.7648 so this is how you will make your equation. Write your term assurance for pure endowment. I always write V raised to N N P X. Solve your term assurance. Only write the equations, important equations. You do not have to write all the formulas, just the important ones. Then similarly make expected present value of expenses. And finally, just write your premium. You do not have to write every single equation. Now to justify it on left side, all you have to do is click on this and justification left. And you can see all the equation go to left. Then after the question is done, just remove this or copy it for the next question. For finding the reserves, we'll find the sum assured that would be paid after this. Then because they had changed the reserving basis and changed the interest rate to 5% that we cannot directly find from our table book. That is why we had to write our equation in terms of 
summation you can write it in general terms as well like i have done here making it in equation editor was a little bit lengthy just because writing these probabilities so i would prefer making it in equation editor but using probabilities in this manner that would be easier but writing sum becomes easier in equation editor so you can use combination of both your notation given by ifo institute as well as equation editor it makes it easier for us to follow and write our answers now let's see this question of joint distribution now first again i have written without using equation editor and i have taken x is equal to 65 and y is equal to 60. it's just easier to write in terms of x and y rather than writing it in terms of actual values but if you write in terms of actual values you will have to specify which one is for female which one is for male if you have individual terms in joint life we may come across a question for payment immediately on death of last survivor so we'll write a bar 50 55 bar okay that tells us that the bar is over 50 55 both or using equation editor i can say a bar and then underscore I have 50 55 backslash bar space space and then bracket close another space this is a way of writing similarly if i want to write payment on first death or payment on second death i will choose something like a bar 50 and here i can use superscript shift control and equal to and then i can put one shift control equal to and again i'll use 55 this is one way of writing it payment on first death while writing it using equation editor we'll use something like underscore i will have 50 55 and then i'll put raise to 1 or raise to 2 depending on whether we are paying on first death or second death i'll press space and then I will move this one over either 50 or over 55 to write whether we are saying first death of 50 or first death of 55. Now you can make almost any kind of notation using equation editor or without using equation editor that we will see in our CM1 paper A. In the next video, we'll talk about how we will be solving any question of profit testing in our examination. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Please check out other videos on my channel and I'll see you in the next one.